Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bubblegum Reviews. My name is Steve and today I'm going to be reviewing... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nick Nolte, Martin Short, Three Fugitives. So this is a first time watch for me. Uh, I, I enjoyed it, I did. Um, so... The director has, this is a remake for the director. The original was a French movie called The Fugitives. And the guys that are in that, excuse me, the guys that are in that look a lot like Martin Short and Nick Nolte. As as far as look like them, I don't know. Like they have the same, Nick Nolte's got the same hair as the other guy. And Martin Short's like the same shorter same hair, stuff like that. Not like, oh my god, they look so similar, but just same features and whatnot. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. But let's see here. So first off, like I said, Nick Nolte, Martin Short, you got a great little cut pairing with those two guys in this movie. They seem to have some fun. At the same time, I feel like the writing in this is a little lackey just because of how I feel like their performance kind of drops because of the writing being not so great in this. There is some like short, the slow parts in this movie and I, I'm not opposed to slow parts, but for a movie like this, I want to be laughing to where my sides hurt kind of thing. You know, I, I know slow, slow is okay sometimes, but anyways, uh, the first 15 minutes in, man, I'm sitting here laughing laughing already. So there's three scenes in this movie that had me in pretty good tears. The Nick Nolte getting a confession out of Martin Short early in the movie, dragging him to the police station. The second is Dr. Horvath. His, his whole scene is pretty good. And the third... Martin Short dressing up as a chick. Sorry if I spoiled anything for anybody. I don't really think that should. That's just as far as I'm going to go with that. So Dr. Horvath, the guy that plays him, actually passed away like three weeks, I believe, before this movie got released. Man, that's too bad because he, I like that guy. He's good. I've seen him in quite a bit, quite a bit of stuff. I really have. Um... The ending of this movie as well is a little, uh, I don't know, like, tell me what you think if you watch this, because I feel like it's kind of trying to tell you, here comes another one, or something like that, but I don't know, I guess, whatever. The music is enjoyable, I'll put it that way. It's not, it's no Star Trek, Star Wars, Total Recall. Anything like that, Superman soundtrack at all. No. This is like Romancing the Stone soundtrack. And actually that one's better. So I wouldn't even put it up there. But anyways, it's it's fun. Some of it's a little too much for me. But overall I was like, oh, okay, I, this is like Twins soundtrack. But anyways. So, director, we have Francis Weber. I believe. I'm not 100% on that. He has done the screenplay for The Birdcage, which I enjoy that movie a lot. I really do. Nathan Lane, Robin Williams, Gene Hackman. That's a good one. He was the producer for Pure Luck. That's a Martin Short, Danny Glover film, and I have not seen that, and I would love to see that. So he's, the, he's not really directed some stuff I know. He's been a part of stuff I know. IMDb gave this a 6.2 6 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 14% and Dog Bones gave it a 2 out of 4. I give it a 5.5 out of 10. Like I said, there's certain parts in this that I didn't particularly care for. Like, not, not care for, sorry. The parts that I didn't care for was where the writing was a little... Went down, 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 down. But anyways, box office of 40.6 million. See, that's not bad. That is not bad. On a budget of 15 million, that's not bad. That really isn't. For a movie like this, I swear the movies like this average out maybe anywhere between 25 and 75,000. They're not big, big like spenders. They really aren't. So that's not bad. Um... 
for that, that is it on Three Fugitives. Uh, so stay tuned for next. I will be doing Lawrence of Arabia. So definitely going to want to check that out. That's all for today, guys. Uh, like and subscribe and check out my letterbox. Capital B, capital B, G-U-M, capital R, E-Views. All right, you guys have a good day. <laughs>